In this video, you will learn how to reset a job definition using CA Workload Automation DE Desktop Client. Suppose that you incorrectly typed a script name when you defined a job in the defined perspective and as a result, the job failed during the execution. You can reset the job definition with the correct script name and resubmit the job in the monitor perspective. Let us first open the application generation that contains the failed job. To know why the job has failed, let us view the job details. The job has failed as the command file name defined in the job was not found during the execution. Next, let us update the correct file name by resetting the job definition. Note that the file name sleep is typed incorrectly. If you reset the job definition of a job in a fail or sub-error state, the changes do not occur until you resubmit the job. So let us resubmit the job to execute the job in the current generation. After the job resubmission, the jobs and the application get completed in the current generation. To make the changes permanent in the job, you must update the job definition in the defined perspective. In this video, you have learned how to reset a job definition using CA Workload Automation DE Desktop Client.